Welcome to Zurich University of Applied Sciences. My name is Martina Plachkva and I'm a doctoral science fellow from the Czech Republic. And I would like to show you our beautiful campus as well as to tell you something about my project. So please follow me. The specific reason why I wanted to come to a section of bioprocess technology here at ZHW was that they are specializing in development of bioprocesses and they've got very extensive experience in that field and that was definitely what I was looking for. So now we are in the greenhouse, the place where I'm going quite often because it's very close to my lab and I'm going there to grab a cup of coffee in between my experiments. So past few years a big problem arose with the resistance among bacteria which is caused by overprescription and misusage of the antibiotics. So now we need to modify our antibiotics in the way that they will regain their original function. It is possible by the use of penicillin G acylase enzyme, which is an enzyme we are trying to produce in big amounts here during my project. So please welcome to my lab, the place where I'm spending the most of my time and the place which is definitely the most important in the campus for me. The spotlight of my PhD thesis is the enzyme called penicillin G-acylase, which is very unique. It possesses the ability to modify uh, naturally occurring antibiotics in the way that it again has got antimicrobial function. So we are preparing a biotechnological process for the production of this enzyme, which will be industry viable and cost efficient. In order to, to make the bioprocess viable, we first need to have in-depth view in how the process works. So we need to study the physiology and behavior of our organism during the production process. So then we can use those information for creating really something that can go straight ahead to the biotechnologies. The uh, benefit uh, for the team is that you get other perspectives because you get involved in your team somebody who was not trained by you and therefore such a person asks different questions and you open more different angles you can look to the problems to be solved. We are very often networking during the lunch times or during some afternoon breaks. And I was also very lucky that I shared the house with people studying here at the university. So I also know a lot of people from environmental studies or chemistry. You know, during this time I spent here, I, I gained a lot. You know, both professionally and personally, it was really like one of the best things I will remember all my life. From a scientific point of view, I learned so many techniques. I've never been working in such an environment. Personally, I gained, uh, I would say, a lot of self-confidence also. I learned to be flexible. I learned to adapt to new things here. Certainly, when Martina is back, she has to finish her work in the home laboratory, and I plan to send um, diploma students to her in the next summer. She will uh, then uh, supervise them in Prague. And Prague is for our students a very attractive location for diploma work. In 15 years, I would definitely like to see myself still in science. I would really like to concentrate on my, my scientific career. And one of the dreams is definitely to have my own lab and to work on my own projects with my team. So thank you very much for your visit. It was a pleasure to tell you something about my science project. And I hope that we will see each other again, maybe in Prague. <laughs>